Hello, this video is created for those preparing for the IELTS speaking test. There are two videos available, a self-test video and a video with answers provided. We wish you the best of luck with your IELTS exam preparation. Have you ever borrowed books from others? No, I've never borrowed books from people. If I ever needed a book, I would ask my parents to buy it for me, or I would visit the local library in town and reserve a copy to read for two weeks. I think borrowing items, especially books, is not asking much from friends. However, I never had this experience. Have you ever borrowed money from others? Yes, but only from family members. There have been occasions when I borrowed money from my mom or from my sister. On those occasions, I needed the money to help pay for something or I needed the money to deposit for something. However, usually I would pay my mother or sister back within a given time frame. Do you like to lend things to others? Yes, I like lending clothes, shoes, bags, and even my phone to others when needed. Usually these are my sister, close friends, or fairly well acquainted people I have met a few times. I lend the mentioned items. If for example, we are going out together or they need items to wear or a bag to use. Sometimes when my sisters or my friends phones are not working, I will lend them my phone to use. How do you feel when people don't return things they borrowed from you? I remind people to return things that they have borrowed from me because the item is not theirs. However, not getting an item back can happen sometimes. Of course, if the item was something I really liked, then I would be upset and feel mad for lending it. So I usually only lend my stuff to family or close friends. Not often, but occasionally, I don't like having conversations that revolve around present, current, or past relationships. While this seems like a light topic, it is actually a heavy topic and not an easy one to discuss openly with friends, family, or even new relationships. When meeting up with a close friend of mine for dinner one evening last month, I updated my friend on my personal life. This led to talking about our current relationships with men and our expectations overall. At the time, my friend was very critical about my choice in men as well as my acceptance of flaws they might have. While I clearly understood that my friend was giving a general opinion, it led me to end the conversation by changing topics. What topics do young people in your country talk about? Young people in the USA or any country like to talk about their wants in life. Whether it is going to school, learning a new skill, starting a new hobby, wanting to have a family, or even just dating, young people like to talk about their personal wants. Since the age range is quite large, I'd say all of the things I mentioned are topics that people in their 20s to 30s often discuss. These are topics that I hear a lot and also discuss and talk about with my sister, my friends, and even new people that I meet in that age range. What's the difference between the topics popular now and those in the past? In the past, many people didn't have the opportunity to go to school, have multiple hobbies, take a lot of classes, or even date for a long time before deciding on starting a family. Times were different and so were conversations. I've heard from my parents 
that having money was a topic discussed more between people. If one had money, then they could talk about what they wanted in life. However, if they did not have money, then they focused on obtaining money first. Talking about money and what jobs could help improve their economic status were topics I think were more popular in the past than now. How do you know if others are not interested in your conversation? When I talk about something that someone may not be interested in, I notice that they stop looking directly at me midway through the conversation. In the US, when speaking with someone, it is always important to maintain eye contact to show that one is attentive and also is following what the speaker is saying. However, looking away from the speaker shows that one is not paying as much attention due to either low interest or some unforeseen distraction. What's the influence of modern technology, such as the internet and emails, on our communications? Modern technological tools, such as the internet, emails, or even phones, have helped connect us more than ever before. Nowadays, people are able to connect in real time all around the world with family or friends. Additionally, the internet provides people with the ability to communicate by voice, by words, and even by video. This has led to changes in how we communicate both professionally as well as socially.